everyone so today we are going to discuss about IBD that is inflammatory bowel disease and this term stands for two conditions one is Crohn's disease and the second one is ulcerative colitis and basically characterized by the chronic inflammation of GI tract so first we will talk about the potential location so ulcerative colitis as the name suggests colitis it involves the colon mainly involves the rectum whereas the Crohn disease it involves whole of the GI tract and in most of the patient it is seen that rectum is often spared in patient with Crohn disease when we talk about the cellular response type 2 T helper cells are responsible for ulcerative colitis whereas for Crohn disease type 1 T helper cells are responsible now let's talk about the GI damage so in ulcerative colitis it is observed that there is mucosal and some mucosal involvement and the type of lesions are continuous lesions whole of the colon is involved right when we talk about the Crohn disease the involvement is transmural and there is skip lesions it is not continuous like ulcerative colitis when we go for the microscopic studies then there are crypt abscesses are observed in ulcerative colitis and when we talk about the Crohn disease there is non chesating granulomas now let's talk about what are the main complications so patient with ulcerative colitis can have deep ulceration GI bleeding fulminant colitis toxic megacolon peritonitis colorectal cancer and it is associated with the high risk of colorectal cancer whereas the Crohn disease patient might have strictures bowel obstructions fistulas perianal abscesses colorectal cancer and it is associated with low risk of colorectal cancer now let's talk about the treatment options so generally patient with ulcerative colitis are treated with 5 ASA that is 5 amino salicylic acid also known as melasagene and melasamine also immunosuppressants like corticosteroids biologic agents like infliximab and surgery and that is curative in case of ulcerative colitis now let's talk about the treatment of Crohn's disease so here also we can use 5 ASA that is melasamine melasagene we can also use immunosuppressants like corticosteroids biologic agents, agents like infliximab antibiotics like ciprofloxacin and metronidazole we can also use immunomodulators like azathioprine and surgery but in case of Crohn disease the surgery is not curative so this is all about inflammatory bowel disease IBD thank you so much for listening